start recording. Start recording. Focus on Mega Man Maker. <laughs> Hand is the cough button. All right. Uh, so, um, I won't be doing a first Sergeant Folly story after this video. I'm actually going to talk about a bad day at work again, but that's after the video. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So much for that whole roll about only playing downvoted levels. <laughs> um, so I reviewed the video Time Spinner, and I noticed it seemed to be staying good. Now, there's some other things I did change. I did get uh, updated OBS, updated V Magic Mirror. Um, I want to keep this tale for April. As a review, I changed her tail back to the one I made a few years ago, and but it's now attached to her hips using a JavaScript website. I really should put a link to it. It's like one of those things I found just by doing random Vroid searches on my phone while at work. I get a lot of off time at work. <sighs> so let's go to this one. Cartoon up a wind. Kastaki Carton. <laughs> Kastaki Carton Napoleon. Carton Napoleon. Oh, 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 oh. Carton Napoleon. Oh. Uh, phone apart. Blown apart. <laughs> I've also been watching a lot of Sharp. <laughs> Upon sighting a car. Ta Carta Napoleon, I immediately played his levels. That is my style, sir. Fully charged Sergeant Breaker, Night Lord, Obsidian's Fortress. Oh, 2019, from a few years ago. 2019 was like one of those big years for me. That's actually right about the time I discovered um, download sites other than Kiss Anime. And was really watching a lot of good stuff. They actually started doing a lot of big videos on YouTube, like uh, scissors, like haircuts. So let's see. Go up. Okay, I can't go. Okay, there's a, there's an issue with screen. Made in 2019, so there won't be any music changing. Thank you for the uh, weapon charger. Look right there. Twenty nineteen would be multiple bosses, I think. Insert random cut man phrase. Hey, Mega Man, you looking sharp. Boy, that's some of the stuff has been around for quite a while. Okay, I got one key. I need another. A no, was there a oh god, the save point is right there. Okay, I think this may have been at a time of 
I hate these things. Oh, these crazy raisins are er- Well, not- Boy, at this rate, I don't know if I'm gonna get to tell any stories. Gotta take these about one at a time. Bad guys one at a time. Should I tell you how long I've been playing this game? Well, let's just say... Since the days of Mega Man 3 came out? Oh! I guess I must have forgot that little detail. Who am I fighting this time? that just oh <laughs> I got distracted by something at the bottom of the screen for a minute there I thought I was I thought there was like some other graphics bleeding through but no it was actually just my my desktop background Way to get around it. Oh, got around it and got croaked. Okay. Maybe I just need a soft lock myself. And I don't have the item. Nah. I'm gonna have to restart this level. I jump over that? Since this is an optional area, the uh, designer didn't have to complete this in order to finish the level, in order to get it uploaded. I'm just... I'm 
try and see if I can jump over that. Think so. Is this one of those where you get a slide jump? Oh my god! I got close enough to activate that! That's the trick? There! That's the trick! That's... Give me the know of the area so I don't have to deal with some of these things. Yeah. There should be a save point right here, but there isn't. So... I should have just jumped over it. <laughs> All right. Uh, 12 minutes. That one and that one. Uh, Dr. Wily 8 boss theme. That sounds a. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the. Uh, oh, that's the right one. Hey, any, I'm interesting way to fight him. <laughs> Plenty of time for me to talk. <laughs> About a bad work day. Uh, okay. The, um... Well... So on the downside is... Grabbing up that weapon. I think, I think it's nice to put the actual weapon... That works against the boss guy... In a hidden area. It gives you something more to do. But... Trying to get over those spikes... In taking advantage of a glitch that may not be in the game, you know. Glitches get fixed, which wind up breaking levels in the long run. But... And then... Um... Oh, not having that save spot right before Cutman. Uh, this level could really do a good redesign for today to bring in some of the extra features like a music changer. I mean, I remember back in the day when multiple bosses were introduced, that was a huge thing. And I think there was like maybe, oh no, it just says question mark up there, so. This is kind of sort of like a Metroidvania Castlemania. 
but you have to go through these other two levels in order to get up there. Overall, I liked it. Where is the... So you get a vote after five years. All right. So I turn this down so you can hear my uh, melodious voice for the voice I use for my mascot, April. Because I know that, what, what would you rather look at? A uh, buck's anthropomorphic female fox or a uh, incredibly old... Uh, a noxious gas cloud. Anyway, well, man, it's loud in my ears. Because does I turn it down on OBS doesn't mean it turns it down in my ears. There. <laughs> now it's much quieter for me. <laughs> well, this past week was going good, actually. I mean, everything was going fine. It was looking like I was going to have a good chunk of Friday off. I was, like, very happy. I thought I was going to be running on Monday. But I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get two days off. I'm going to get three days off. Holy, getting, getting two full days off is a big deal for me. Uh... A nice old belch from the uh, Diet Dr. Pepper I've been drinking. I do that whenever I go to Jack in the Box, to I guess, where I get my caffeine on the weekend. Otherwise, it's uh, a clear American water, or this week it's um, Super Sam's Cola. Caffeine-free diet. Anyway, and but then Thursday morning... I was in North Bend on my way to Seattle. And it wasn't, you know, I, I, if I have to meet a client up in Seattle, I'll stop in overnight in North Bend and then go in in the morning. Because there's just no really good place to park in Seattle. It's, it can be pretty rough. Also, I tell you that as progressive as Seattle is, they will clean the homeless up once in a while. Quite frequently, in fact. Especially in the areas where politicians might visit, or where the bus terminal's at. And... I find out... That... My next client, after Seattle, is in Tacoma, on the far side of Tacoma from Seattle. And it's... My, uh, Seattle client is at 8... My Tacoma client is at 3 in the afternoon. And I just can't sit in Seattle. I have to leave. If I get to that client, they have a rule that you must leave. Or I could park around back, but the problem is, is bathroom issues. I'm an old fart, and sometimes those farts have some solidity to them. So I have to drive down to Tacoma, but not at the client number two for the day. It's at... It's at another place that's still about 30 minutes away. I can't get close because I can't park at client two. I can. And I know that client two will not see me early. I've been to this one before and they tell you to leave and go park somewhere else. So I'm up, up that certain creek without the all-important paddle. <laughs> My boss doesn't give a damn. He, I don't know what he told the uh, client, but it certainly wasn't much of anything. Um, I get phone calls infrequently throughout the day, but I don't know who they're from. They could be from the client, they could be from the client's representative, they could be from an insurance scammer. I've had to deal with that quite a bit when I wrecked my car a couple of years ago. And I've only now been able to tear that out. Or, you know, it's going to be, going to be like, you know, this time of year, it's going to be, Hey, I'm Donald Trump, and I'm going for a huge victory, and you can make it huger by giving me a, all your money. Uh, uh, this, uh, Joe Biden, and, uh... It doesn't sound a... I'm, I'm using it as a April voice, so it's going to sound nothing like any of those two guys. And, um, um, and, uh, uh, I, I need to do a, a huge stomp on that 
Donald Trump, and, uh, I can only do that and save democracy by you giving me all your money. Get, get a bunch of phone calls, and you pick up for those things, and then you just get a bunch more calls, so I tend to ignore them. Frosty, remember that? I talked about that one very incredibly annoying client from the week earlier. Who just call and call and call. And... I am using the client's app. I am actually keeping it updated. And then I just... So then when time comes up, I go to the client. I do all my checking on the app. I even had to call up my dispatcher and say, Hey, there's missing information. And I need it in order to check in with this client. And a few minutes later, I got it, got checked in. And I'm keeping my dispatchers updated. And I'm... Keeping the apps updated and all that. I really haven't been getting any phone calls, but unfortunately, due to all these great distances between Seattle and Tacoma in terms of client timing, I run out of work time. I get to Eastern Oregon coming home, and I have to pull over and stop. It's like a favorite spot I like to stop all the time. Actually, I'd rather not stop, but I just was not able to go any further because of rules and things. Now, I did tell my dispatcher this. That my ETA to, uh, to the client... Uh, I don't really want to get into details about places I'm going. I'm already talking too much about Seattle and Tacoma, but to other places. And by the way, it's not just one client I'm having to go see. I'm having to see two different ones on Friday. And, you know, I had to sit for about a few hours over there in Eastern Oregon before I could continue on my trip. And dispatchers know this. They know it. I told them this is when I'm going to be at client number one, Friday client one. And here it is, it's about, I'm about maybe an hour away, and, you know, I, I do get these rando calls that I just completely ignore because I just don't know who they are, plus my dispatcher doesn't tell me that he gave my phone number out to people, so I tend to ignore them because I don't know who they are. So he starts chewing me out over that. Says, you're the only one who doesn't respond. You, you're, you're costing us clients. We're losing clients because of you. As I, I'm about ready to bite his, and I do bite his head off. I said, because here's the deal. That's my phone. He's shitting on me with. I mean, it's my minutes, my data, my messages. That are being used up like this. By the way, I didn't touch the, uh, maybe it's where I, I, I hit the desk. You know, I really hate it when people do that on podcasts when I'm driving. I hear a thud. I go like, what, 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 what happened? I need to hurry this up. Anyway, and so I tell my, I tell my dispatcher, who, by the way, was supposed to be off that day. You know, he's getting his four-day weekend. I haven't had many four-day weekends since the Army. <laughs> That's as one thing I loved about the Army. Four-day weekends everywhere. Anyway, and I said... Are you done? Well, well, yeah. Are you done? Okay, click. And then the client. And so I said, okay, so I guess maybe the next call I want to get is going to be from the client. And he does. He's And he starts chewing me out. You're late. Do you know you're, you're late over? I'm late. Blah, 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 blah. And I said, and I, I'm, I'm going to kind of raise my voice here a little bit. So let me uh, kind of <laughs> tone this down. Because I want to get some of this raw emotion going here. And I snap at the client. I do a mega mean snap. And that is, why don't, why aren't you looking at your app? Look at your app. It does exactly where I'm at right now. What I've been doing for this past day. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I've, I've you, you, why are you yelling at me for? Cause you're yelling at me. I'm trying to do my job and get the stuff done and meet you people up. But I'm constantly getting yelled at over stupid shit. And people shitting on me and crapping on me constant. Whoa, 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 I'm not Junior, no, no, no. I just need to know where you're at. And I'm like, and it's like, oh, come on, use the app. 
You do, you say that you're going to take, you're going to penalize us if I don't use this app on my phone. But here you are, you're not using the app. And I mean, I'm won't admit to anything that's under um, <laughs> statute of limitations, because somebody could probably put two and two together and realize who I am. I mean, it's not a secret. But anyway, I'm telling him where I'm at exactly. And I'm like spelling it out letter by letter. I'll use an example. I go fully charged. I'm at fully charged. Oh, wait, well, how do you spell it? Uh, F U L L Y C H A. Is that too? It's like, oh, come on. So yeah, you were to be there at this exact time. I say, don't give an exact time. All right, I'm probably going to be there probably right around uh 11:30 or so or something. What well, that's it? Because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if there if like the freaking road's going to get shut down. How do I know? Is I 4 going to get shut down again? I guess while I'm fucking complaining by talking about roads getting shut down, um, I know I don't have that picture anymore, so I gotta go to. Okay, for shutdown. Uh, thank you, Google, for interrupting me. Ah, okay, okay, here we go. Move that to, uh... Okay, I guess I gotta do this, then this, there. There you go. Uh, move this down. See? This is why I don't give exact estimates. This is why I overestimate all my times. Because of stuff like this. I should use this as an exchange. <laughs> uh, where can I put I can make this smaller. There. I can do it like this. <laughs> this is why I get chewed out for overestimating. This is why I over... You should see me. I'm, I'm actually gesturing at the screen up top there. <laughs> Good thing nobody can actually see the real me. <laughs> this is why I overestimate. This is why I don't like to give estimates. This is why I don't like talking to clients and trying to give exact times. You never know when something like that's going to happen. And by the way... I made a joke about where everybody crashes in Turkey in a previous video. Well, guess what? A lot of crashes in Turkey. So I get the client number one, getting him loaded. I'm guessing I'm going to have to sit there for a couple of hours. Turns out, and I'm telling the um, the client, client two, I'm telling client, the overall client, client two about this. But it turns out client one got, we got done with everything much earlier than I expected and I was able to get to client number two and get everything done up with them and then I had to sit there for two hours. And I'm telling everybody this and nobody seems to give a damn. I'm talking to the uh, guy on the phone trying to, leaving him messages. It's completely ignoring me. Oh, oh my God, I forgot this part of the story. See, um, turns out the client was angry with my dispatcher because according to the client, he had been emailing and calling my dispatcher all morning long wanting an update. And he wasn't getting updates from my boss. He was supposed to be on vacation, but pretty much took time out to chew me out. Now, trust me, if he tries to freaking do that again, I'm not going to really take it. And I know that's risky because I live in an at-will state. You know, a right-to-work state, which means you actually don't have much in the way of rights. You know, it's the right to not to have to pay uh, union dues. The right to not pay union dues is what it is. 
Okay, uh, one I... Uh, see... Ah. Put that one in the dash cam folder. <laughs> anyway, well, it's been over 30 minutes now, so... Ah... Uh, Yeah. So it's like one of those things he's been upset with me and it turns out that um, a lot of customers and clients and stuff like that are asking him for information. I mean, I, honestly, let's be honest. Is the Tacoma client lying to me when they knew nothing about me having to go out and rescue an injured co-worker? Is the uh, second Tacoma client lying to me about not knowing that I'm going around town a couple of times trying to fix things is the uh, other Tacoma client upset with me Tacoma client number three upset with me because I'm lying when they say that they're trying to contact my dispatcher and they're not getting sort of having to contact me for they're not supposed to be doing anyway <laughs> then again they pretty much all but admitted that they're not looking at the app that I'm updating Anyway, that's enough of me bitching. Um, I gotta go. I have to review this video to see if there, if any of those um issues about frame rates are coming up. 